بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم Welcome again to a new video. Our video today will be about an important uh, antimicrobial peptide, LL37, and its relation to netosis. Uh, netosis process, I already have explained it in other videos. Uh, and as regard uh, LL37 in uh, netosis, I will uh, discuss it in two videos. And this will be the first one. Uh, here, uh, this is an important and interesting uh, paper. Uh, that was published in uh, 2022 um, in, in Cells Journal. Uh, its title is LL37, a multifaceted amphipathic peptide involved in netosis. Uh, amphipathic mean uh, a molecule that have uh, both uh, hydrophilic and hydrophobic properties. Uh, as we know, antimicrobial peptides is an important part of the innate immune system. The innate immune system uh, actually provides us with critical uh, mechanisms that are rapid in sensing and eliminating uh, pathogens. Uh, it's a first line of defense which is characterized by, uh, by large but not very specialized spectrum of reactions. Uh, in contrast, the adaptive immune system uh, involves antigen-specific responses which uh, are finely tuned to a, spe a specific pathogen. Uh, and actually both innate and adaptive immunity uh, include uh, humoral and cellular components. The innate immune system uh, use, uh, uses many effectors and uh, among them are the antimicrobial peptides which act as a first barrier host defense molecules and many uh, of the peptides, these antimicrobial peptides, uh, many of them are produced by proteolytic processing from a larger precursor protein. There are over 2,000 uh, uh, known antimicrobial peptides which typically contain less than 100 amino acids uh, and are cationic or amphipathic. Uh, amphipathic, as I said before, is a molecule uh, that have uh, both hydrophilic and hydrophobic uh, properties or pores. Uh, in humans and higher vertebrates, uh, there are dozens of different proteases that are uh, subdivided into uh, different uh, structural classes and there is a balance uh, uh, equal against them by diverse proteases inhibitors so uh, the result we will have a continuously changing landscape of precursor proteins and proteolytic fragments so there are several classes of antimicrobial peptides uh, where uh, cathelicidine family is one of them and in humans, we have only one uh, belonging to this cathelicidine family, which is uh, HCAP18. And this one by proteolytic uh, enzymes will give a uh, result to uh, LL37. Uh, actually, this uh, only cathelicidine, uh, HCAP18, uh, is a 16 kilodalton uh, human cationic antimicrobial protein. Uh, in this diagram, we can see the only cathelicidine in humans, which is uh, HCAP18, uh, that will be cleaved by proteins uh, 3 or elastase here and give rise to uh, our uh, subject today, with, which is uh, LL37 antimicrobial peptide. So LL37 is a proteolytic fragment of cathelicidine which fulfilled the rules of defense by inserting into the membranes of bacterial pathogens and also it uh, function as uh, alarming uh, in stimulating chemotaxis of other innate immune cells uh, and uh, alters the structure and efficacy of various cytokines. Alar means or danger associated molecular patterns, DAMPs, these are endogenous molecules recognized by the immune system of a host as a danger or risk, uh, so it will lead to sterile inflammation. Uh, in addition to LL37, we have other examples of alarmines like heat shock proteins, high mobility group box 1 protein, extra serial DNA, and RNA. So LL37, in addition to be a broad spectrum antimicrobial uh, uh, peptide, 
uh, it, it works as alarmine that attracts uh, the attention uh, because of uh, its contribution to the development of inflammatory and autoimmune disorders such as systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, atopic dermatitis, and also in atherosclerosis. LL37 is expressed in epithelial cells of the testis, skin, gastrointestinal tract, and the respiratory tract. Also, it is expressed in leukocytes such as uh, monocytes, neutrophils, T cells, natural killer cells, and B cells. And again, as I said before, generation of LL37 peptide uh, is produced from uh, cleavage of uh, uh, the only human catalysidine, which is H3. AP18 uh, precursor via proteolytic uh, enzymes, uh, which include serine proteases, calicarins uh, 5 and 7, which is expressed in the epidermis, and the proteinase 3, mainly expressed in neutrophils. So again, we have the same diagram showing uh, the only human catholicidine, uh, HCAP18, and its cleavage by uh, proteinase 3 or elastase. Uh, giving uh, rise to LL37. LL37 is uh, 37 amino acid long peptide and uh, at ne uh, neutral pH it has a total net charge of plus 6 and as I said before it has an amphiphilic uh, properties uh, which means it has hydrophilic and hydrophobic properties so uh, its unique composition explains the dual affinity of LL37 for both water and oil, hydrophilic and hydrophobic targets, and its multiplicity of function. The two- and three-dimensional structure of LL37 has been resolved in different conditions, uh, and a diversity of structures uh, has emerged, highlighting the remarkable flexibility of LL37 that adapts easily to the interactants it meets. So it shows a diversity of structures depending on the situation it meets. In this diagram, we can see sequence and ribbon representation structure of human LL37 determined by 3D nuclear magnetic resonant spectroscopy. So the tertiary structure of LL37 prepares a peptide uh, to uh, uh, work in a wide range of specific and biologically significant interactions that range from potential inhibition of viral infections to uh, important applications in chronic neurodegenerative disorders. So as a de demonstrating example, the versatile nature of LL37, uh, an alternative binding surface of the tide interacts with the ligand binding domain of angiotensin converting enzyme 2 the receptor for SARS-CoV-2 viral entry and uh, inhibit its uh, uh, entry to the cells. Another example from the opposite side of the spectrum is that LL37 inhibits the aggregation of alpha uh, sinew uh, clean, uh, one of the critical contributors for uh, neurodegeneration in Parkinsonian's uh, disease. So uh, in this uh, context, the anti-aggregation potency of LL 37 prevents uh, cellular toxicity induced by this uh, uh, oligomer and may thus offer a promising uh, therapy for Parkinsonian's disease. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed the, the video and uh, I'm reminding you again to subscribe to the channel and activating the alarm bell if you are interested in uh, getting any updates. Thank you.